Hey y'all, Frozen Foxy here, walking through the night in Amherstburg, Canada. It is May 30th today. Tomorrow is May 31st. It is my grandfather's birthday. He passed away in January of this year, and I came up here because he used to work in Michigan, and I'm trying to figure out a way to remember him and my grandmother in some fashion. I've had a Kind of a rough go of it since uh, since coming out to California to try and be around more with my grandfather and you know just try to do my best out here in life when I arrived after the 32 hour drive from Georgia, my car was leaking oil profusely and apparently had been cleaned in order to hide that it had a major oil leak. So I had to go and get that fixed. And while that was in the shop, I was trying to get into the place that I was supposed to be located at. And all of the notary stuff wasn't working out and it was looking like I was not going to have the place and I was going to be out of the hotel that I was in and trying to figure out what to do for my cats that were in the car. But somehow we managed to get into that. And uh, the place was empty except for the air mattress that I brought for myself and uh, Skittles managed to ingest something that uh, caused her to get really sick and I had to take her to the emergency room and while my car was in the shop I had a loaner car from the dealership and I hurriedly tried to get out of the garage and smashed the side mirror when I was getting out of the garage that was there. That's my parking for the place. Uh, so I had to deal with fixing the loaner car once I finally got my car back about a month later. Um, I tried to get involved with communities in California because other than my grandparents and my aunt and uncle out here, it's pretty lonely. There's no one really out here. Well, not here specifically, but you get what I'm talking about. And, uh... I found the local furry community and thought, why not? Got involved in that, made a few friends, and found that uh, people who didn't like other people were canceling each other specifically some people that I had made friends with 
and saying that they had either physically attacked slash assaulted or sexually assaulted someone uh, at times that they had been hanging out with me personally, so there was no possible way that any of that could happen. And I decided that I wanted to remove myself entirely from a community that would believe lies over truth because of favoritism, because I really didn't appreciate that. And so I got isolated all over again. But uh, I ended up dating someone from that community and finding out that uh, they had kids, which was awesome because I got to participate in the kids' lives. And I have always wanted kids and don't have them, which, you know, I'm getting much older these days. I don't really foresee a good chance to have kids any longer, which sucks. But uh, things don't really seem to be working out so well in that realm. I, uh, soon after my grandfather's passing, went to go down to a funeral for the kid's great-grandfather, no relation to my grandfather. And, uh, as I was coming down to be there for that, someone rammed into the side of my car and spun me out, nearly totaling my car. It was probably about $500 away from being a total loss. I have issues with pain and parts of my limbs falling asleep now that I didn't have before, that I don't know what really to do for. I got x-rayed after the accident and didn't seem like there was any serious breaks or anything, but, you know, still not perfect. And there's just been lots of different crap day by day that I have been coming across. And this doesn't even go into the fact that my grandfather in his community, which is for seniors, was walking a little cut of the video there because of people walking around but uh, my grandfather was walking in that senior community with his walker as best he could and one of the other seniors in the community came pulling out of their drive without looking or without seeing and slammed into my grandfather. So a lot of the time that uh, I spent with him after that, uh, he was mentally declining very, very fast. And I felt like a lot of what I had come out for to 
be there with my grandfather and try and get some time with him got wasted. On top of that, he was very detached while he was still alive, especially because his wife, my grandmother, had passed away. There was some nice times, but it was few and far between. And uh, my grandfather left a, uh, a memoir that he wrote when he was 65. He passed away at 95. So 30 year difference. But uh, the memoir went over a lot of things that happened during his life including mental struggles and stuff that I feel like would have been really nice if I had been able to talk to him and connect to him on things. Feels like a lot of lost time that could have been dedicated to something. I am sorry that after the little bit of video backlog that I had and some recording out here in California got uh, eaten away, I stopped really having the motivation to keep going on with everything happening. I didn't even mention that uh, the movers lost a number of things of mine and uh, the TV that I had brought out so I could do videos ended up getting smashed amongst all of the various items. When I turned it on, it looked like a solar system, but it was actually just the TV shattered. <laughs> so that didn't really help. And just little by little things built up more and more and made it more difficult to want to do any recording, let alone try to talk to you guys about anything, because everything has just been a ridiculous mess to the point that it seems like a joke. Like, I don't feel like all of this stuff should or could happen to someone, but somehow it did all at once throughout the year. And I'm only briefly touching on some of the things that happened throughout the year. There was quite literally people that were privately messaging me whom I had not really built any kind of relationship with that were trying to turn me against people that I had made friends with <laughs> just because they knew that I was associated with them. I knew one of the administrators and he let me know that the rest of the administrator group secretly in a chat was saying that I was associated with one of the people that was accused and therefore something must be wrong with me too because that's just the kind of community that you can expect so I have been very low 
very depressed and trying to figure out what in the world I'm doing with my life at this point because I don't know what it is. I wish I did. I wish I had some kind of advice. I don't really know. I've been trying to, as they say, sniff out new cheese as consistently as possible. And everything that I have come across seems rotten. On top of it, I don't even know if I had mentioned it before, I may have, but I had reported my boss to HR because he was making a lot of racist, sexist, cultural, off-color comments. And it circled back around to him that I was the one who reported him. I haven't been fired, but he very consistently makes sly comments that make me feel nervous for my job and that he is trying to look for any possibility to fire me that he can. So I'm just always on edge at this point. Tomorrow, on my grandfather's birthday, which is probably today, as I'm walking around and it's getting later, I'm gonna go and lay some flowers out for him and my grandmother in an attempt to have some minor hopeful note to their memory. And I just don't know what that is right now. I apologize for the gloomy note in this video. Hopefully things will look up. I hope that you all are well and can somehow find some kind of understanding amongst all of this. Hopefully talk to you later. Bye.